guys, it's Carolyn with Crafting with Wine, and I wanted to share with you guys today an engraving that I'm getting ready to do, and uh, um, I'm doing this on a 25 gauge aluminum, and I got my aluminum at Lowe's, actually my husband picked it up for me, and it's a 24 by 24 inch squared piece of aluminum. And when you see my piece that I've got, what I used was some little snip things that my husband gave me to borrow. Didn't give, borrowed. <laughs> um, so I could cut it, and I didn't cut it very pretty, so I'm going to have to cut it more smoothly and pretty after I get my engraving done. But what I want to do is a photo. And I want to create my photo into a stencil, and I'm using the app on your laptop, not laptop, I'm sorry, desktop. I don't think it's available for um, smartphones or tablets. I think it's only available with a laptop or a desktop. And I'm using photo to stencil photo number two stencil.com, and, and it's a free site so that you can do it. So I'm, I've got, I've already got it over into the, into design space. So I just want to show you this step on how I do it. So here I'm just going to upload a photo. I'm going to choose my photo that I want to upload and then open it up. It'll take it a couple minutes. There's my photo where it's already converted it into a stencil. It gives you all the ones that you may want to choose. And I think this one looks the best. I'm going to choose it. Here you get the option of doing a single stencil or a three colored stencil. I choose the three color stencil. So what you do is click download SVG and you're going to get this three colored stencil. I've already done it, so I'm not going to save it to my computer again. I'm just going to X out of it, and then it's going to bring up Design Space. I've already downloaded it, extracted it all, and have uploaded it into Design Space. And this is the way it comes over into Design Space. But I've already also changed all the colors of the three mats the three layers of the stencil that comes over because you kind of got to play with it to, to determine which layers the bottom, middle, and top. So I put them in colors of dark, medium, and light. This way we know, I know which layer goes on to what. So what I'm going to do at this time is just hit select all. I'm going to choose the align button and I'm going to tell it to center. And then now everything is centered together. Now I don't like the pink. It, I don't feel like it gives a de enough definition. So I change it into shades of black. So and you can do that right over here by clicking the little circle. It'll bring it up. So I'm just going to choose that for all of mine. I mean, I'm going to change all of mine into the colors that I want that you can see it better and as you can see it has come over and look you can see a whole lot more about this now that it is um, black and colors of black shades of black I should say wait a minute I moved one of my layers <laughs> so now okay now we're good so I'm now going to, I'm going to select all and group these together. So when I do that the next time, it doesn't move on me. Now, this has come over at uh, um, pretty large. It's 7.83 inches wide by 6 um, inches high. And I don't want it that large at this point. So what I'm going to do, um, I've got them all select. I've got it all selected and all grouped together. So now when they're all grouped together, all of my layers are going to change into proportionate size together. So make sure you do that. So I'm just going to make the width three and a half inches. 
and then that automatically has changed all three layers of my of my stencil. Now, I also don't want to engrave or cut the black section. I don't need it. So I'm just going to go over here and turn that section off. And this is what I want to have engraved. Because when I'm engraving on my aluminum now, it will be the aluminum will be the black portion. And just to show you, I cut this out on cardstock already in the dimensions that it came in as just so that you can see it and this is how it came in and I mean the size that it came in but isn't it beautiful and you can certainly tell that it was that picture that I used so now I'm going to engrave this on aluminum at a much smaller scale so let me pause you for a minute and um, take you over, I'm going to take you over to my machine and cutting mat. But before I do that, let me show you one other thing real quick. We're going to go to make it, well, the first thing we have to do is these two layers, is that we're going to have to click on the side here again. Let me see if I can zoom you in a little bit. And here on the side, it's showing the scissors to be cut. We don't want it to cut. We want it to score is what you have to choose. And I'm going to do that for both of these layers that is showing. I want it to score. And you can see now what it does. You can just see those dotted outlines. So now we want to go to choose the Make It Now button. We're going to go to Make It Now. We're going to come here to our cutting mat. And you see here how it put two different images here on my screen and that's okay I don't that doesn't bother me at all so what I'm gonna do and what you have to do is line those together they have to, you have to put them on top of one another and what I'm gonna do first is move it over on my mat to where I want it to start scoring or engraving and you can line it up real easy with those little dotted dash lines. Wait a minute, I may have pulled the wrong layer on top. I did. So just be aware of which layers that you're putting where and then line up your dash lines. So that's perfect. I'm going to leave it right like that. Now I'm going to hit continue, but I got to turn my machine on real quick. I'll give it a second to show the machine. And here it brings up what material we're going to use. I'm going to choose View All. And here we have an, I have an option of the very first category that comes up. And I want to choose Light Chipboard is what I'm going to choose. And then I'm going to hit Done. So now it believes that it's going to score on Light Chipboard. So... Let me pause you and move you over to the machine. Okay, guys, I was just talking away and forgot that I didn't have the camera on. This is my 25-gauge uh, aluminum. You can see my pitiful cut job here <laughs> when I cut it out from the big sheet. I've got it on my standard grip mat, and it is a new mat, and I have pressed very firmly on the on here to get it on here very very firmly and that's what you need to do to get it on there and how I cut my aluminum sheet is with these snip things that my husband allowed me to borrow so once it comes out I will clean it up and be able to cut it I think much better so let me open up my machine here again we're gonna get our mat loaded 
and then one of the things that we will do is uh, I will do I should say because if you remember we have two layers to this image and we're not going to ever take it out of the machine but we're going to hit the Cricut button each time and we're going to make three passes for each layer so that's what we're going to do so that we can get a good a good engraving my button is flashing for me to go and we're going to get started and my engraving tip is already already in clamp a so we'll get this going and we'll let this uh, do its three passes and then I'll come back and show you once we get it out of the machine. Okay, I have finished engraving and I'm going to pull this off my mat. Let me get that out of the way. And can you see how well it engraved? It looks very, very nice. So I've got a paper towel here and I'm just going to wipe it off. And then another thing that I'm wanting to do, and see if you bring this back in, you can see that it matches very well. <laughs> so, but what I'm wanting to do is, I'm going to see if I have a brush that might work. I don't have a stiff brush, but I stole my husband's black shoe polish, <laughs> is what I've done. And maybe my pa my paper towel probably won't be stiff enough but I'm just going to be some generous generous here with this black shoe polish and what I want to do is rub it all over the engraving and I want to get it down into the crevice of the engraving And you can see what a hot mess I have going on <laughs> there. But it should help. If you can get the shoe polish down in there real well, it will make it, it'll make all the engraving stand out. Let me get, throw that away before I get it all over me. Now I'm going to just try to wipe it away and leave it in the engraving. It worked a little, but a very stiff stiffling brush would make the black stay down in there really well. So that's what you need for that. But I'm pretty I'm very impressed with this so I'm gonna play around with some more photos <laughs> and see what I can do with those and one of the things that I would like to um, what I plan on doing is trimming this up real well and making it look pretty and then I'm gonna place it into a picture frame so we got the cardstock version and we have the engraved version. So I hope you guys give it a try. And like I said, this is a 25, 25 um, <clears throat> grade aluminum, 25 grams gauge, 25 gauge aluminum. And um, and I think it would do a 22 or a 20 real well too. Maybe even maybe even an 18 gauge. So, 
but as you know, the lower the number, the thicker the metal. So, um, I hope you guys give it a try, and we'll talk again real soon. Cheers.